What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me here for another night of Astro Imaging. Unfortunately, I have to work tomorrow, but that means that the Smart Telescope has to do all the work for me tonight. We're not getting out a big rig tonight. We're just getting out the little Vespera, but we're doing a whopping seven hours on the Elephant Trunk Nebula for tonight. Tonight, of course, we are going to be battling a few different things. We've got the near full moon out, which is going to be on the opposite side of the house, so luckily that'll be blocked a little bit. But we also are shooting from Bortle 8, backyard skies so lots of light pollution to fight through but we have the CLS light pollution filter on the front of the Vespera here this is going to block out those mercury and sodium vapor wavelengths of light for us so we can bring out more of the night sky Veonis also quotes that this filter is really good for emission nebula which is exactly what the elephant trunk classifies as what makes the elephant trunk sort of special is this darker region that funnels right through the center that it kind of gives it that trunk appearance. What this basically is, is interstellar dust that's sitting there blocking some of that nebulosity surrounding it. But what makes everything sort of glow in this reddish hue is a nearby star that is giving off radiation, which makes all the different gases and chemicals out there glow a faint red light for us. Now, the elephant trunk is a widely photographed target. You, of course, can capture this in everything from a wide-angle camera lens to a smart telescope to as big of an imaging rig as you desire. The elephant trunk is super popular in the fall and early winter and located up in the constellation of Cepheus. Now this target sits about 2400 light years away from us. Now this is not really that far when you consider the distances of most of the other deep sky targets that we typically photograph. For the Vespera though, we are using just the standard settings. It's going to be a 10 second exposure. The software is going to determine all the sensitivity and do all the stacking for us. And we're only going to process that end TIFF file that it exports for us on this final image. Once it gets fully dark here, it'll be almost 10 p.m. We're going to run the clock till 5 o'clock in the morning so we're going to get lots of exposure time and just after 5 30 a.m. is when the sunlight starts to appear in the east so this is going to be a full night of imaging for the Vespera I do have it hooked up to an external battery pack to make sure that the batteries do not run out this is by far the easiest way if you want to do long imaging sessions with your Vespera now the Vespera though is very small it's only a 50 millimeter objective so we can't hope for this glorious photo of course right off the bat with only an hour or so. But giving it a full seven hour exposure should really bring out a lot of the faint nebulosity for us. And I'm actually really curious how this is going to turn out because I personally think that the elephant trunk is a really beautiful target. And I'm excited because I've attempted a few times with the Celestron Origin, but I've gotten a lot of issues with walking noise out of the Origin the last several months. So I'm going to turn to my other smart telescope to see if it can get the job done for us. So let's get to it. Our seven hours starts now. 